With all the beauty that can be found here in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, it seems only natural that it would be home to so many Michigan State Parks. Today we're going to take you on a tour of all 19 that can be found throughout this region of the state. And don't assume that means camping only, because our parks are filled with opportunities that will help you enjoy the great outdoors to its fullest extent. Production of Great Getaways is made possible by Rocky's Great Outdoors. Located in Burton, Michigan, Rocky's carries a complete line of motorcycle, snowmobile, camping, and hiking gear, including canoes and kayaks. State Building Company, serving mid-Michigan for over 50 years, with quality windows, insulation, roofing, and siding, including complete residential and commercial remodeling. Forward Corporation, operating over 30 complete convenience centers, motels, and restaurants across Northeast Michigan. It wasn't until the onset of the 20th century that things like admiring nature became fashionable in the United States. People like President Theodore Roosevelt and author John Muir helped to popularize setting aside public lands for the preservation of wildlife and other natural resources. These men, along with many who followed them, truly believed that the preservation of humanity itself was directly linked to the preservation of wilderness. In Michigan, it started 75 years ago when the legislature formally recognized the long-term benefits of public statewide parks by creating the Michigan State Park Commission. It was the job of the commission to establish state parks for recreational purposes and the preservation of natural beauty or historic association. Beginning with the induction of the Interlochen State Park in 1919, the system has grown to include over 96 parks located throughout the state. Because of this foresight, Michigan's residents and visitors can enjoy one of the nation's premier park systems. Michigan has had its share of visionaries over the years, people like P.J. Hoffmaster, Michigan's first superintendent of state parks, and noted conservationist Genevieve Gillette, an unrelenting volunteer and state park advocate. Art Elmer, a superintendent of parks like Hoffmaster, but with administrative skills that salvaged the state park system after being neglected during World War II. Obviously, these are only a few of the people who have made a difference in our park system, but it's been the vision of people like this that has played a major role in what our state parks have become. Well, obviously I'm a little bit biased about our, our Michigan State Park system, but uh, it is considered by most experts to be one of, the, one of the leaders in the nation. We've got one of the largest systems and, and have, uh, I think attendance-wise, we're right up there with many of the leaders as well. Uh, as far as, as our UP State Parks, uh, actually we, we have uh, some of the finest, again, historic and natural resources in the state located in, in our UP state parks. You know, we've got a, a historic fort at Fort Wilkins State Park. Uh, we've got a, a iron smelting uh, ghost town at Fayette State Park. Uh, we've got the largest state park in the system in the Porcupine Mountains at 58,000 acres. We've got the, the uh, state's largest spring at Palms Book State Park. So we've got uh, a fair share of the state's resources here in our, in our UP state parks. When you first enter the UP from Lower Michigan, you'll find yourself at the entrance of the Strait State Park. This is one of the UP's more popular parks because of its location. Many of the campers to this park are transient campers. That means they stop here on their way to somewhere else. But don't assume that there's nothing of interest here. As with most state parks, its location is important and that this one, you'll find yourself overlooking the Straits of Mackinac and the Mackinac Bridge. 318 modern campsites are spread across four campgrounds. While half sit on a hill overlooking the Straits, the others are located down near the water.
Also of particular importance here is the Father Marquette Memorial and Museum. This subunit of the Straits Park is a historic site that commemorates Father Marquette's efforts in the UP. His settling of St. Ignace in 1671 made it one of the oldest settlements in the Midwest. His final resting place is believed to be located near this spot. Of the seven state parks located along the Great Lakes shoreline here in the UP, Brimley State Park, located just west of Sault Ste. Marie, has the reputation of possessing the beach with the warmest water. That makes it one of the few places that the not-so-timid swimmers can enjoy the cold Great Lakes. The park has a mile of lake frontage on Lake Superior's Whitefish Bay. There are 270 modern campsites with some that are just a few yards from the sandy beach. About seven miles to the east lies the historical city of Sault Ste. Marie and the world famous Sioux Locks. The Tequamanan River State Park is located near the town of Paradise in Chippewa County. This is Michigan's second largest state park, covering over 40,000 acres and stretching 13 miles through two counties. There are three developed areas in the park that contain four campgrounds with a total of 319 campsites. Both rustic and modern sites are available here. The vast majority of this park is undeveloped and lends itself to hikers and backpackers. There are almost a dozen lakes and ponds scattered throughout the area. But the real highlight of this park is its waterfalls. Muscalonge Lake State Park is one of the smaller state parks at 217 acres. Located in Luce County, it is somewhat remote, being found on a narrow strip of land between Muscalonge Lake and Lake Superior. This remoteness makes it one of the few really quiet places in the state where the sounds of road traffic never reach. Its modern campground can accommodate 179 trailers, tents, or motorhomes. Muscalonge Lake, where the campground is located, offers good fishing opportunities for smallmouth bass and pike. The two miles of Lake Superior shoreline found just across the road is a good spot for those who like long, peaceful walks or to rock hunt for Lake Superior agates. Indian Lake State Park, located just west of the town of Manistique, is a 847-acre state park. Camping is a popular recreation at this lake. Located along the southern shore of the lake, it has 302 modern campsites, with several located right along the water. A nice feature of this park is the swimming area that is only two feet deep for almost 300 yards out, making it great for the kids. Indian Lake is the fourth largest lake in the Upper Peninsula and is considered one of Michigan's top fishing lakes. You'll find plenty of walleye, smallmouth bass, and various panfish, and they're sure to offer you the best fishing in terms of amount. But other fish, such as a 105-pound sturgeon and a 32-pound muskie, have been taken from Indian Lake in recent years. So when you come, be prepared for anything. Another state park that is very near our last stop is Palms Book. Just 12 miles west of Manistique on Highway 149, Palms Book State Park contains one of Michigan's most intriguing natural attractions, Kitchety Kippy, the Big Spring. 
200 feet across and 45 feet deep, Kitchity Kippy is Michigan's largest spring. Kitchity Kippy means the mirror of heaven, but the calm surface waters belie the fact that over 10,000 gallons of water a minute gush from many fissures in the underlying limestone. The underwater flow continues throughout the year and the pond remains at a constant 45 degrees, cold to the touch in summer, yet never freezing in the winter. These oddities mystified the Native Americans of the region who believed the spring held sacred powers. We suggest you take a lunch and ride the raft a couple of times. It's well worth the time. Moving further west along the Lake Michigan shoreline, we pass the Fayette Historical Ghost Town, located on the Garden Peninsula in Delta County. The Fayette State Park is comprised of a total of 365 acres, including 80 campsites with electricity, swimming, hiking, and boating. Fayette also is the site of the most complete iron smelting town in the Midwest. As you travel to the entrance of this park, be prepared to step back in time. During the 1870s and into the 1880s, Fayette and its busy village of 500 inhabitants labored around the giant charcoal kilns. They shared the daily hardships, joys, and sorrows while they manufactured iron for our nation. Today it remains as an outstanding example of an early 19th century iron smelting town. Found in a small harbor surrounded by hardwood forests and limestone cliffs, it offers unmatched serenity of another time. In all, it makes a nice stop for the whole family. The J.W. Wells State Park is an 800-acre park with three miles of frontage on Green Bay in Menominee County. The highlight of this park is its stand of virgin pine. Saved from the axe by noted lumberman John Walter Wells in the late 1800s, it was later donated to the state by his children in his memory. A seven-mile network of trails meanders throughout the forest. The campground is comprised of 155 modern campsites, with 30 of them being right on Green Bay. There are also six frontier cabins found in the woods that can accommodate up to 16 people. There is a day use area for anyone wanting to have a picnic while they enjoy the beautiful sandy beach. Approximately four miles to the west of the city of Crystal Falls in Iron County is Bewabic State Park. This park offers just about everything you could want for a summer camping trip. One hundred forty-four campsites are available complete with sanitation disposal facilities. The grounds also have a picnic shelter, a community building, a park store and refreshment stand, outdoor picnic areas, a bathhouse, and modern toilets. Bewabic Park borders the northwestern end of Fortune Lake, or First Fortune Lake, as it is also known. Visitors can enjoy swimming along a nice, well-kept beach. Fishing is also possible from other areas of the park shore. For more serious angling, there is an ample boat launch. The Porcupine Mountains Wilderness Park is often called the crown jewel of the state park system. Located in Ontonagon County in the western upper peninsula, 
It includes 60,000 acres of mountain wilderness. Designated as a state park in 1945, it encompasses five lakes, several trout streams, many beautiful waterfalls, and 30,000 acres of virgin forest. The wooded hills of this park rise almost 1,000 feet above the 23 miles of Lake Superior shoreline. This park is an adventure for everyone. Five campgrounds are located within the park that are accessible by road. The largest is the Union Bay Campground. Located on the east side of the park, it has 95 modern sites which include hot showers and electricity. At the west end of the park lies the Presque Isle Campground with 88 semi-modern sites. These have no electricity. The park also has three rustic campgrounds that are located along the south boundary road. With no roads running into the interior of the park, it has become a haven for hikers and backpackers. The park maintains over 90 miles of trails, along with 16 wilderness cabins that can be rented to accommodate overnight wilderness camping. The solitude of the park is mysterious and exciting. A person hiking to the interior of the Porkies must actually turn back the clock and call on the skills that were second nature to our ancestors. One must appreciate the ways of the wilderness area to thoroughly enjoy backpacking the Porkies. Moving up to Keweenaw Peninsula, we find the F.J. McLean State Park. Located in Houghton County on the edge of Michigan's copper country, this 417-acre park has two miles of frontage on Lake Superior. Starting at the Portage Canal, it extends northward where it's characterized by a bluff bank overlooking a narrow beach. So popular are the fiery sunsets across Lake Superior that lakeside benches have been installed to enjoy the spectacular view. This is one of the nicer state parks that we've stayed at, being lightly forested in red pine and oak. Each campsite is surrounded by a large buffer zone for additional privacy. Our next stop is Fort Wilkins, a 200-acre state park which lies between Lake Superior and Lake Fanny Ho near the end of US 41 at the top of the Keweenaw. The park has 165 modern campsites divided between two wooded campgrounds. Both campgrounds have sites located on Lake Fanny Ho with a trail from each leading to the historic fort. Today the garrison is one of the few remaining wooden forts east of the Mississippi. Visitors can wander through this historical complex on a self-guided tour. Buildings are furnished with displays that provide insight into the hard life of the 19th century soldier. Also part of this state park is the Copper Harbor Lighthouse. Built in 1866, it remained in service until 1919. Today, the lighthouse has been restored into a museum that can be visited through a boat tour out of Copper Harbor. Check with the DNR for tour information. Located along the eastern end of the 1,100-acre Michigami Lake, Van Riper contains 151 modern campsites. A day-use area has a swimming beach, picnic sites, and play area. Michigami is one of the larger lakes in the UP with over 25 miles of shoreline. Lake Michigami's clear waters, islands, and unspoiled shores provide a home to many types of fish, waterfowl, and other wildlife.
Located on the north side of US 41, across from the lake and campground, is a hiking trail. This trail is part of an 1,100-acre tract of land owned and maintained by the Van Riper State Park. The trail provides a four and one-half mile circuit through some fairly hilly terrain. It passes along the Pashiki River in one area. Kayaking would be fun here. There is also a rock bluff overlook at the top of the trail. At the overlook, you will be several hundred feet above the lake. Looking due south, back over Lake Michigami, you can see many of the islands that dot the lake. Oh, by the way, you're in prime moose country here, and you never know when one of these majestic beasts might come strolling by. Another section of land that is also under the jurisdiction of Van Riper State Park is Craig Lake. This state park is an isolated gem located some 10 miles north of US 41 along an abandoned logging trail. Once you reach the parking area, it's still another quarter of a mile portage back to the lake. Two rustic cabins can be rented at park headquarters, but other than that, it's strictly wilderness camping. The 374-acre lake is known for walleye, smallmouth, pike, and muskie. Hiking trails and portages to other lakes can take you to this true Michigan wilderness. Laughing Whitefish Falls State Park is a scenic park with activities limited to hiking, picnicking, and photography only. These falls are a must-see. Even on an overcast and drizzling day, they were absolutely stunning. It is about a 20-minute walk downhill from the parking lot through Hardwood Forest. When you arrive, there is an extensive flight of stairs. The falls doesn't announce itself with a roar of thundering water or a sweeping vista, but comes almost as a surprise as you reach the top of the staircase. Centrally located in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, the Manistique area offers travelers the perfect base camp for many outdoor adventures. If you would like to plan a trip to the North Country, we'd like to help out. The team has put together an information packet that includes some of our favorite destinations, along with addresses and telephone numbers, so you can get on your way to the North. Well, we hope you enjoyed our tour of the state parks found here in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. This region is blessed with an abundance of land that the state has set aside and made available to all of us. Whether we choose to watch a beautiful waterfall, be on a secluded lake with nature literally at our door, or enjoy one of the more modern campgrounds with some of the comforts of home. We have everything here in the Upper Peninsula, and we want to invite everyone who's looking for a new and exciting adventure to come on up and join us. It could be the trip of a lifetime. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Production of Great Getaways is made possible by Rocky's Great Outdoors, located in Burton, Michigan.
Rockies carries a complete line of motorcycle, snowmobile, camping, and hiking gear, including canoes and kayaks. State Building Company, serving mid-Michigan for over 50 years, with quality windows, insulation, roofing, and siding, including complete residential and commercial remodeling. Forward Corporation, operating over 30 complete convenience centers, motels, and restaurants across Northeast Michigan. 